Hey, what's up guys? It's Lunara Ara here again today, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Monster Hunter Wilds fourth trailer. Yes, that's right. This is the fourth trailer Monster Hunter Wilds has put out, and apparently it's going to be showing off the release date in this trailer, and I can't wait to find out when that is because I'm definitely 100% most likely going to play this game. I'm very excited for it. Anyways... We're going to take a look at this trailer. The thumbnail shows two new dragons duking it out. And it looks like this might be like a, a frozen area, judging by the color scheme. Uh, but we'll have to find out. So here we go. Oh yeah, it does look like it's a frozen area. Maybe. Dude, that dragon looks so cool. Whoa. That cave looks awesome. I love how they have a whole caravan in here. Oh, hey, they have a steam-powered machine. Look at the steam-powered machine here. That is pretty cool. It reminds me of, like, an old steam-powered train. Um, but also, there is a pterodactyl. They've apparently trained small pterodactyls, which is pretty so, based. Captain, what's your team been getting up to? That is a the floofy cat. special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine include Floofy. Oh, oh a little dragonfly. This is amazing. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, Honestly. Forest is amazing. That's giving Monster Hunter World vibes. The forest is so thick and dense. I love it. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. That's I like the uh, weather system. Oh, it looks like the weather is even gonna, like, add flooding, like, dynamic flooding. That's- that looks cool. Oh, shit! That's a big gator fish dragon thing. Holy shit. Whoa, that is so cool. Whoa. It's- it's fishy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh, wow, it could cause a big, big wave. That's crazy. Holy shit. A gator fish dragon thing. It kind of looks like a giant uh, alligator gar fish. Yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. But with a shorter, like, snout. That's going to be cool to fight. Also, I'm not sure if there's going to be dynamic weather, but it kind of just looks like it. It might just be a floodplain area. That's always being, like, swampy and watery. But, goddamn. Oh, no, no, there is dynamic weather. Okay, I was right. Holy shit, that's beautiful. When it's not, like, swampy. That looks so gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, there's the bear. Pterodactyl. Oh, you can fish in this game. That's a big fish. Oh, there's the spooter. They're just throwing explosive barrels at it, lol. Oh, that is such a smart way to take out that bear. That is such a smart way to take out that bear. Just cave, like collapse the cave. Also, that cat, is that a cat? I can't tell. Its mouth is huge. That bear dead. I think these are cat, no, they're not. I'm not sure what these are. That's like a mushroom hat on. Oh, these are new. Well then, they're, they're Ewoks. With mushroom hats. Okay. Interesting. We have mushroom Ewoks in Monster Hunter Wilds. Okay. Okay. They're really cute. Oh. Oh, sh- I love the little cats so much in Monster Hunter. It looks like they're just, uh... The palicos are just being used as, um... A dis diversion. A distraction. <laughs> they're carrying a hunk of meat trying to get that dragon. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, why don't they just put the meat down? Kill that giant flame rooster. Also, the flame rooster looks really cool. Oh, 
Oh shit. It's a big bad ear. Oh shit. Is that what we're after? The white wraith. The white wraith. Oh my god, airship! Holy shit! It's literally a ship with a giant balloon. <laughs> they uh they weren't too creative there. <laughs> they just put a balloon on a giant ship. Holy shit, that's cool. I'm there. Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Oh shit, an extinct species. I guess there's one still alive. I guess we're gonna have to make it permanently extinct. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. That's crazy. Holy shit. Bro, Monster Hunter Wilds, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. It's gonna be one of the coolest Monster Hunters. I think. I think it's got a lot of potential. That's so cool. February 28th, 2025. Bro, that's just around the corner. That's only a few months from now. That's what? Uh, October... Uh, November, December, January, February. Yeah, that's not too many months away from now, bro. Yo, we get in this game for sure. Hell yeah. Hopefully they let the pre-order come up in January or December. I'll definitely pre-order it. Well, maybe I won't pre-order it. I don't usually trust uh, modern gaming too much to pre-order anymore. But uh, I, I am really excited for Wilds. I think Wilds looks fucking crazy. So it actually looks like there's more to this trailer. So we're going to continue it and see what's up. Here we go. Okay. Just another... Uh, oh, the pre-order's out already. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's good to know. So I could go pre-order this if I want. I'm not going to right now, but I might pre-order it maybe before the 28th of february like a last minute free order but uh i don't know i i, I don't know we'll have to see i want to see some more gameplay before i pre-order it for sure i'm not really too trustworthy of pre-orders anymore like i said but uh i think monster hunter wilds is gonna be pretty cool i don't know we'll have to see oh okay the pre-order bonus is a Layered Armor Guild Knight Set and a Talisman Hope Charm. I, I, I will say the Guild Knight Set kind of just looks like <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV's um, Red Mage. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't know. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It does look pretty, though, I will say. I, I really like it. I, li I like the hat with the feather. I think that's pretty cool. It's very fancy. Very, very fancy. I do like the bracelet, though. The bracelet with the crystals and uh, everything looks really pretty. This is the Hope Charm Talisman. It's pretty. Very, very gorgeous. Oh, there's still more. Oh, Premium Deluxe Edition. Includes the base game, three DLC packs, and premium bonuses. Okay, let's see what's in the base game. So we got, uh, or what, let's see what's in the Deluxe Edition, I should say. Uh, we have the base game. The layered armor, which, oh, wow. That's samurai armor. That's pretty badass. Okay, this looks cool. We got a eye patch and some oni horns. Okay. We've got a palico samurai armor set. That is cute. I love this. We also have uh, two sets, it looks like, for the sacred. Sacred, uh, I guess this is the mount. Pretty cool. We get two new hairstyles, which look pretty good. Um, two gestures, which is kind of hard to tell what they are. It looks like this one maybe um, has like a piece of toast in the dude's mouth. And this one is like swing swinging the katana forward, um, which is cool. We got the nameplate for your hunter profile or whatever. We got some uh, face paint makeup tattoo things. Um, 
we also got a pendant thing, <laughs> which looks pretty nice. I actually like this. And then we have a bunch of stickers. This is the sticker sets. I imagine these are like in-game stickers. You could just like, uh, kind of like, um, in, in, in like, um, how do I put it? Warframe or Overwatch. You can like put the stickers down on the ground. I'm not sure how else to explain it. Uh, I'm assuming that's what that is. And then we have, it looks like earring accessories for your hunter. This looks like it might be like a, a little small pearl earring. And then we have hoop earrings, which is interesting. And then we also get a background, a pose, and a nameplate. I guess they haven't announced the nameplate yet. And they haven't showed the background or pose off yet as well. And then we also get a music track, Proof of a Hero 2025 recording. That's nice. Um, I don't know if this is worth buying the deluxe edition, though. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of DLC, two um, really nice armor sets, one for you and your Palico. And it looks like an armor, uh, two armor sets for your mount as well. That is nice, but I don't know if it's going to be worth the, uh, the price increase. Um, other than just buying the base game. I'll probably just end up buying the base game. There also looks like there's two cosmetic DLC packs coming out. Cosmetic pack DLC pack one is coming out in spring 2025, and the other is coming out in 2025's summer. So those two DLC packs for cosmetics will be um, probably something I'm not going to get. Depends what's in them. Depends what's in them. But uh, I'm not a fan of buying cosmetics. But hopefully they have, like, actual expansion plans, like Iceborne and Sunbreak, um, for their respective games. I'm hoping they do something like that for this Monster Hunter. Because I think this Monster Hunter has a lot of potential. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the rest of this trailer, because there's still more. Oh, okay, here's the difference. We've got the Standard Edition, which is the base game. That's the version I'll probably end up getting. The Deluxe Edition is the, um, well, the base game plus the Deluxe Pack. And then there's the Premium Deluxe Edition, which is the base game, Premium Bonuses, Deluxe Pack, and to be released at a later date, both Cosmetic Packs 1 and 2, which are coming out in spring and in summer. So that's interesting that you get those along with it as well. Pretty interesting. And then of course, I've already gone over this in a previous reaction because they put this in a, uh, a few trailers now at the very end of it. Um, the Monster Hunter Wilds also has Monster Hunter World uh, and Monster Hunter World Iceborne save data bonuses. So there are two sets for your Palico that you can get. Um, you get the feline leather and feline acorn spade for your palico from World and from Iceborn. You get the armor set feline duffel and the weapon feline trekker pickaxe, which is pretty cool. It's nice that they're giving us some uh, save data bonuses. I like that and I appreciate it quite a lot. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Anyways, that is it for this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did and want to see more reactions like this in the future, then don't forget to leave a like down below or subscribe, because it really helps. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.